There's no film in it, it's digital. Yeah, I only have 32 minutes of memory. So that's why I have to upload them on the videos. All right, ready? Okay, so what we have is we have 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, to factor, what does factory mean? Factory means write it as a product of its factors. So we look at this and we say, you know, is there anything I can pull out or that they all share? And there is no term or number that they all share. So then I'm going to look into factoring that we've worked on, a factor in a trinomial. We worked with some techniques on how we can break it up into two factors. So one of the methods is what I'm going to explain, which is to take your A times C and then add it to find out what your B. So A times C is, remember, this: all quadratics can be written in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. So A times C is going to be 18, and then B is going to equal 9. So then we think about it and we say, what two numbers multiply to give us 18, but add to give us 9? Yes? 6 and 3. So therefore, remember, when A does not have a coefficient of 1, what we need to do is we need to rewrite the problem. These are not your two factors, or these are not a part of your two factors. So we need to rewrite your problem. for our middle term. So we're going to take those two numbers that we figured out and rewrite them in our middle term. Yes? But remember, what's 6x plus 3x? 9x. But is, like I'm saying, is it okay if I, is this true? So does it really matter if I use 4 or if I use 3 plus 1? No. So that's the same thing. I'm just going to say instead of writing 9x, I'm just going to write 6x plus 3x. It's the same thing though, right? So the reason why I'm going to rewrite it like this, why I can't rewrite it, why I not leave this, the reason why I can rewrite it like this, because now what I've done is I've gone from three terms to four terms. And when you have four terms, we use factoring by grouping, which means we group our first two terms, and we group the last two terms. Then we factor each one of those individually. So by factoring them, we pull out the GCF. So I say, what is the GCF of 2x plus 6x? And you can say it's going to be a positive 2x. Then you say, what's the, what's the GCF of 3x and 9? And you could say it's a positive 3. Now, what you guys notice is in this, in this kind of bracket here, I had two terms. Why do I have two terms? Because you have this is a term, and then it's added to another term. It's being broken up by an addition sign. So what I have again now is two terms. This whole expression is a term, and this whole expression is a term. So what do these two terms share in common? x plus 3. So you factor out an x plus 3, and you're left with And there you go. If you guys want to check your work to make sure you did factoring correct, you can always check your work. It's like going back to the equation. Remember when you guys solved the equations, you plugged the numbers back in, right? Factoring means taking a taking a uh, expression and writing it as a product. So if you're writing it as a product, why don't we multiply it and see if it works again? So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 3 times 2x is positive 6x. 3 times 3 is positive 9. 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. Is that our original answer? Yes. So we factored it correctly as here is your factored form. Yes, Amber. From here to here? So remember, I just kind of pulled out what they had in common. Um, think about here. When you, what do they have in common? They have a 2x, right? So what you, divide, what you do is you divide each term by 2x. So 2x squared divided by 2x leaves x. 6x divided by 2x leaves 3, right? So what I have is if you're going to take this whole number and if you divided it by x plus 3, the x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 divides to 1. So you're only left with 2x, right? 
Yes? Watch. 3x plus 3. What can you factor out? Well, you can factor out a 3. Right? Because now, check your answer. Distributive property. So do you see how when you divide out, you're left with these numbers? All right? So it's the same thing if it was like this. Um, 3 plus x times 3 plus 3 plus x. What can you factor out now? Instead of factoring out an x, what can you fa or instead of um, factoring out a, uh, a uh, 3, what do these, both these terms share? They factor a 3 plus x. So when you factor out a 3 plus x, you're left with a 3 and a 1. It's kind of the same thing. We'll do uh, some more examples here walking out.